Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Erica. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can investigate businesses for Austin. Are you wondering what open source data can be collected about businesses? We have another video on our channel where we list the open source data points for a target business. I also encourage you to watch our other videos on using search engines and social media platforms for Austin. You can find the links to all the videos in the description box below. Consider this scenario. You are a junior open source intelligence analyst. Your manager has provided you with the name of a beverage company, Madcap Coffee. You have been asked to dig whatever information you can about this company. Now, I will demonstrate how you can get started with your Austin investigation. When you perform a quick Google search with the company name, it is highly likely that the company's website would be the first result, which is the face of the company. When you browse through the website, you will get an idea about the services and products offered by the company. You can also view the hashtag and social media handle used by this company. They have a presence on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. From the contact section, you can find an address, contact number, and email address. It is possible that the company's head office is located in Michigan. From the location section, you can find the address and contact number of their branches. From the About section, you can find information about the company's history. You can also browse through other sections in the website to get better insight into the company's activities. A company's website helps you build a good foundation for your awesome investigation. Crunchbase is a website that provides business information about a target company. You can find a quick overview about the company. Contacts and list of employees. For some companies, you can also find financial data and information about acquisitions. You can register on Crunchbase to access more information about a company. Another website that provides similar information is Doom Info. Open Corporates is another website presenting business registration information. Here, when a search was performed for Madcap Coffee, two results came up. One result contains a registration entry valid between 2008 and 2014, and the other has been valid since 2014. You can also filter your results based on the tags here. Let's take a look at the first one. You can find the company number, incorporation date, registered address, names of top tier employees, recent public document filings, and trademark registrations. For some companies, you can also find the tax identifier number. This value holds significance based on the country the target is located in. Now, let's perform a quick search for email addresses that may be used by employees. Here is our search query. In the third page of search results, we can see an email address here. In the eighth page of search results, we can find another email address. These two addresses were not observed in the company website. As you identify employee names and email addresses, you can build an employee organization chart. Now let's pick another target company, Hertz Car Rental. I will use Google search engine to search for latest news about Hertz. We can also use search engine operators to enhance our searches.
Now, let's use Bing's search engine to find any post containing this company's name in any language other than English. The minus sign here indicates Bing to eliminate English web pages from the results. You can also find links to the official Hertz rental website in different countries in their local languages. Here too, you can use search engine operators to improve your search results. United Airlines is an American aviation company. Let's take a look at their LinkedIn page. Here you can find the profiles of employees working for the company. These individuals have included United Airlines in their current experience section. You can also filter the employee names based on their location or the schools they studied in. Within the post section, you can find their latest updates. Let's take a look at their Twitter page. As United Airlines is typed in the search bar, you can see that multiple results pop up. You can see the profile name and the profile handle starting with the at symbol. Twitter assigns a yellow tick to verify profiles belonging to companies and organizations. Twitter assigns a blue tick to verified profiles belonging to individuals, activists, or specific groups. Here is another result with an underscore at the end of the handle. On social media platforms, it is quite common for accounts to be impersonated by scammers. You can find fake accounts with similar names but with numbers and symbols in the handle. Typically on a platform, accounts are assigned unique handles. You can navigate to the profiles, look at the bio, list of followers, other profiles followed and other activity to discern which the legitimate profile is. Here, it is evident that this profile is the original one. We can also perform searches to identify if a company had been victim to any data breaches. Pastebin is a website where hackers sometimes post leaked data for public view. You can also find other data on Pastebin that people intend to share publicly. A search for hacked Uber databases has been performed already. Here is an interesting result. You may find interesting findings in leaked data that you can pivot your investigation from. Now let's consider another company, Whitefish Energy Holdings. We can build a profile for this company as well by browsing through the website, social media profiles, if any, and by also constructing search engine queries. Little Sis is a website that helps to draw connections between a target company specified in the search box and other private or government organizations. Let's take a look at this network map. We can follow along with the graph shown here to view known network connections to Whitefish Energy Holdings. Unicourt is a website that helps you access court records and provides data about ongoing cases. I hope you have a good idea now about how open source intelligence can be collected about a target business. Why don't you pick a target company and run an awesome investigation to find information about their recent activity? I am sure you will have some interesting findings. If you like this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon.